Okay, I am uh, storing some rice long term. I have uh, come to the conclusion that um, jars are one of the best way to do this. It's just too easy um, with you know with the right equipment, which is pretty cheap. So uh, what I'm doing is just packing about a 50 pound bag of rice at uh, Sam's and uh, got my little jar funnel here, same one you use for your can and such. And I'm just filling the jar. Now what I'm doing is uh, I'm filling it pretty full. I'm filling them up pretty much up to the top simply because uh, it's, not a, it's not a wet pack. Just a dry pack. You're gonna. I'm going to vacuum them out, uh, vacuum seal them with a, a attachment on my food saver. I kind of shake it and pat it. Anyway, I'm going. I, I think the more volume get you get in in the jar, then the uh, the more likely you are to have a uh, uh, to remove. You know, most of most or all of the oxygen. So, anyway, this is, uh, you don't need to watch all this, it's not brain surgery, but basically filling up the jars, and I'll show you what happens next. Okay, I've got all the jars full, and just to let you know about volume, it is two and a half cases. There's one case, there's another case, and six more. So two and a half cases of quart jars is what a 50 pound bag of long grain white rice will do. Uh, if you're doing beans, pinto beans, you know there's a difference in the way beans stack up in the uh, in the jar. Uh, the beans are not going to fill every little crevice like rice does, so beans are probably going to be maybe uh, maybe more than that. You know, perhaps as much as three cases. Not sure. I did not tell you, but uh, very important. I froze the rice. I put the rice in a deep freeze for. Um, gosh, I forgot about it. <laughs> So I had it in there two or three weeks, but uh, two or three days is very good to uh, to freeze your uh, the, whatever it is you're going to uh, dry pack like this, uh, because most all food, whether you want to believe it or not, has little bugs in it or larva e larva or eggs or something in it, and you're going to kill that by freezing it. Also, I am picking a beautiful day outside. Um, it's uh, supposed to rain in the next couple of days, but uh, right now the humidity is down. I also have the air conditioner in the house turned down uh, pretty low, lower than what we normally keep it, simply because I'm trying to suck all the humidity out of the house while I'm doing this, because I'm doing this inside. So that, uh, I think, covers all of um, what I was going to tell you before we start vacuum sealing. But again, two and a half cases of quartz for a 50 pound bag of rice so if you go buy a 50 pound bag of rice to do this uh, then you know buy your jars accordingly if you don't already have them in some things you would use a desiccant uh, in, in the bigger things like uh, five gallon buckets and such and a desiccant for those of you that don't know is something that absorbs moisture like the little silicone packs silicon packs that you get in uh, uh, medicine and uh, stuff like that that keeps uh, that absorbs the moisture. So, but rice is its own desiccant. Uh, I don't know whether you remember years and years ago, uh, people used to put rice in their salt shakers. So the rice would not was too big to come out the salt shaker, but they'd put rice in there to keep the the salt from caking caking up because uh, the rice would soak up the moisture and the salt would not. So, gosh, little known fact. I'm not going to charge you down. Okay, for that. before I move on, um, before you put the lids on, come through here well, like you do anytime you're canning and wipe. Take a, a maybe a moist towel and wipe those uh, rings off the uh, top of the jars. Uh, just in case you were to get, uh, when you're filling them up with rice, were to get um, some kind of powdery residue or something like that. That powder I have found sometimes will stop it. Uh, from making a good seal. Now, what all can you put in jars? Um, obviously rice, um, pinto beans, uh, peas, dried peas, uh, I'm thinking particularly of southern peas, uh, black eyes, purple hulls, 
um, powdered milk, the non-fat okay, dry milk. Laid out. Uh, see if I can turn on a little light and get you a little bit better light. Um, this is really the only place I have to do it because I got a plug available. This is a wide mouth, a wide mouth attachment for the food saver. You just well put a lid on it. Alright. And it's got a button over here on my particular food saver, which is a 2830, and it's old school. I don't make these anymore, but it's got a button for canister. You can hear it, suck it down. That's how you know it's working. If you just get a constant sound like that, then it's not sealed good. Okay. Done. I actually need to take that, take the hose out first, and then just pull that off, and that is sealed. I would say that would last 10, 15, 20 years. Who knows? Keep it out of the light. Keep it out of, um, you know, away from moisture and uh, heat, and it's going to store just as long, I think, as. Uh, other things that are vacuum packed. Maybe not freeze dried because that's a little bit different process. This is the regular mouth. So I put a regular lid. Put that on there. Put the hose on it. Okay, listen for the vacuum. Okay. And that is sealed. You don't have to put rings on them. You can if you want to, for safety's concern. You, if you bump up and get something, you could maybe uh, pull that loose. But it is sucked down hard, so I don't think so. If you don't have a food saver with the, the jar attachments, uh, wide mouth and regular and wide mouth, uh, man. Um, I would suggest you get one. Uh, the hose, I think, comes separately. It's about $5. These are about $10, 8 or $10, I think, a piece. Uh, and then the food saver. Uh, i tell you what, I'll put a link to the food saver, to a food saver or two, in uh, the description below. I'll put a link to these. I'll put a link to the hose. And uh, I would say that... Um, to me, this is my this is my go-to method now for saving food. I've got you know I've done the buckets and all that, and uh, with the buckets you you wonder you know did you did you really get a good seal? You hope you did. You think you did. You did everything right. You think you got a good seal, but you're really not sure. With this, you can come back and look at that thing a year from now.